A claimed home warranty gives you peace of mind knowing that the major systems and appliances in your home are covered against unexpected breakage and costly repairs. So you can enjoy what you love doing because our coverage options and easy process take the hassle out of finding quality contractors. When your covered items break and you need service fast, a claimed home warranty is here for you 24-7, 365 days a year. For a free, no hassle quote, go online to acclaimedhw.com. Owning a home is the American dream. I love my job because I get to help people buy, sell, and improve that American dream. Follow me this week as we explore exciting new trends in Utah's real estate. Doug, I know you've done a ton of pools here in Utah. Have you ever come across a challenging situation where you may not have been able to fit a pool in? Yes, there has been quite a few of those. This was one of them here. Uh, Josh and Hillary called us out because they love this house. They love this lot and the views it has. They just wanted a pool and a spa. You bet it had like a steep drop off, right? Right, it was very steep off the back porch here. There was nowhere to put a pool technically. Yeah. So we brought in uh, our design team and, and uh, <clears throat> Eli's Brandon from Loft 64. Uh -huh. He did up a design which uh, was very fantastic. And my uh, landscaper, wall builder, uh, Innovative Excavating, Jess took care of this wall which created all this space here. And we were able to fill it back up and dig out the pool. Well, it turned out beautiful. Tell me about a little bit about what you guys did here. When we first saw, sat down with uh, Josh and Hillary on this project, they were interested in a more modern look than the classic style pool with the white plaster and the coping stones and such. Uh -huh. And so what we came up with for them was a, an exposed aggregate, a black exposed aggregate, which makes the pool reflect really well and also makes the water a more deep, dark blue, a lagoon blue, which people like. Yeah. And uh, looking like a resort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we they wanted some area to entertain, so we added a pergola back there, uh, a couple of gas fireplaces for them, and basically just made this area really inviting and, and a good place to to entertain. Well, Doug, this is really enlightening because I've come across a situation where I've taken <clears> buyers <throat> out to houses and they've looked at it and said, "Well, it, it doesn't fit our needs because we want to have a pool," mm -hmm. and and this is great. Yeah, this is actually what we specialize in, the challenging builds, um, situations like this where there was no backyard, and rather than have it look like your standard condominium complex pool out in the middle of a flat. a great time to go look at Park City real estate and I got one of the pros up there I got Tom Peak here and Tom this is an incredible property tell me a little bit about this this home is uh, in the colony um, on another world ski run so direct ski and ski out off another world and Rhapsody designed by Peter Penoyer famous New York City architect there's a lot of classic homes you'll see that this is more of a classic than what you'd expect in Park City maybe yeah and so tell me exactly where in Park City this one's located this one is in the colony. The colony is in the area where the canyons and the Park City Mountain Resort combine to create the largest ski area. Yeah. And it's right in the middle, so yeah. it's accessible to both sides. And those just recently combined, and so now this is a really a big deal now. Right? Yeah, it's Vale's new big, the, the, the cherry on the top of the cake. Yeah, okay, good. 
So obviously this thing is, they put a lot of money into it, a lot of detail work. Tell me a little bit about the things that they were thinking as they were putting this home together. Well, what you'll notice uh, in here is all the paneling. The walls are all paneled ceilings, coffered ceilings. All of that is white oak. So where you see, normally you wouldn't expect someone to use white oak and then paint over it as they have throughout this home. And then it's all done in ferro and ball paint, which is uh, very expensive yeah. finishes. As it should be, but it, it really stands out. It's absolutely beautiful. It does. Classic kitchen. Uh, it connects to a two-bedroom apartment that is off of the kitchen with a separate entry for a nanny or a mother-in-law or guests. Yeah, I love all that lighting. They did a really nice job. Just, it's really clean and, and very bright. It you is. Know, but, but, but it's not over the top bright, you know, like, like the classic white. It just, it's bringing in kind of more the warms and bright somehow. Yeah, it's there's a lot inviting. of outside light. In the wintertime with the snow out there, it's really exceptional. It's, uh, as you can see, just a lot of light. This was shot in the afternoon. So uh, you can see the light coming in from a little bit more the west side of the home but it's all of the, the, the best finishes that you could imagine in a classic home like this. Uh -huh. Now, it's obviously uh, beautifully detailed with all this furniture and stuff. Is this gonna be included in the sale or are these gonna be personal property? This would be included in the sale. The plan was uh, to set the home up uh, the way it should be and, uh, and they'll move on to their next home and, and furnish it the way they'd like to furnish that home. Yeah, and that's appropriate because the, you can't take this style of furniture and really probably make it work in another house. So that's, that's great. So let's talk about price on this. What are we looking at? This is $6,995,000, which is a, uh, a, a price that is probably the lowest per square foot in the colony. And this is a home that is probably one of the highest per square foot to construct. Uh -huh. Just because of all every all the paneling we're looking at here is all the, the uh, the white oak and throughout the whole home. So yeah, yeah, this is then would be considered a value then? Yes, it would be considered a value. It would be uh, relative to the market there for sure. Yeah, it's beautiful. So it looks like we're heading upstairs here. What are we gonna see up there? Well, once you get upstairs, there's a really fun big, uh, right here as you would enter here, is a big uh, bunk room. It's in the, the coolest color of blue. It's kind of a powdery sky blue and uh, just, just a gorgeous room. Kids would love that, as you can imagine. It's got two bathrooms that come off of it, so the boys and girls each have their own bathroom. And um, as you see here, great view off to the north. Yeah, you can see all those beautiful trees out right. there. They're yeah. just nestled right it, in it there. It is right in the trees. It is right in the trees with two runs, ski runs on either side, and also the Mid-Mountain Trail which is a famous, one of our Mountain Trails Foundation, big epic trails in Park City. Wow, they really put it in on this home. And so, uh, gosh, what you, so all the decorating and everything is all involved in this. Where are we looking at here? This is a little office, kind of a TV den. If you look at the walls, that's the clear oak that was used everywhere in the house. Now everywhere else it would have been painted. So you can see how beautiful it is. It was yeah. just. It was actually waxed in that room, so uh, beautiful job there. This is all the master level, that little den, the office, the master bedroom, his and hers bathrooms is all on the master level of the home. That's a great spot to sit and watch the sunset. Sunrises on that side also. It's beautiful. So is this the master suite? Then? This is the master suite. Yeah, very, very beautiful. Very large also, a lot of elbow room in there. That's his bath and her bath. This was built by uh, Charlie and Mary Windsor who are locally Park City famous. Charlie was responsible for the construction of a lot of the venues for the Olympics, uh -huh. but built this and, and uh, really, you know, you can just see the, the level of detail. He's very proud of this home. Yeah, he's, it's definitely something to be proud of. He really, he did a spectacular job here. And so I assume this is gonna be one of the guest suites here. This is, this is actually in the, in the, uh, uh, the two bedroom apartment that's adjacent. It's got that great window bed with a great view. Uh, this is going down to the ski room, a couple of wine lockers. So this is the ski room directly out there is where you ski in and out. You just click on your skis right outside that door and off you go. And off you go. And you come in, click them off and you're home. Yeah, that's great. 
So Tom, this is absolutely spectacular. And I just love that you know, we got a couple shots here of what it would look like you know, as you're flying by and looking at the winner. If somebody wanted to contact you and wanted more information about this, how would they reach you? Well, you'd contact us, Tom Peak and Kevin Murray at 435-645-5811 or Tom at TomPeakParkCity.com. Zippy Shell of Utah has a new and innovative solution for your storage needs. We offer convenient, secure storage that is less work for you. We bring a storage container to your house for you to load. Once it's loaded, we'll pick it up and store it at our climate-controlled warehouse. When you're ready, we return the container to your house to unload. Right now, we are offering a storage special for only $99 a month. Please call us with any of your storage needs. Come plan your wedding in a day with Utah's highest qualified vendors. It's Lakai's Bridal Extravaganza Show, happening July 15th from 11 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Come enter to win Lakai's Dream Wedding Package with a honeymoon at Getaway from Getaway Today's Vacations at the Catamaran Resort and Hotel in San Diego, California. The first 50 brides to enter the door will be entered to win a two-night honeymoon stay. Be one of four lucky brides enter to win a men's ring in our cake dive. Please register at utahbridalshows.com. So Julie, one of the problems I've been running into is these buyers are going into this computer underwriting and they're getting rejected and then they feel like they can't get a, get a deal done. What do you guys do in that situation? Well, in that situation, we go one step further and we have a manual underwrite. We don't just use the industry standard for an automated underwriter. We give it to one of our individuals and they can dig deep into that file and we're giving more options for more buyers, getting more people qualified to buy homes. That's great, because the computer kind of looks at a black and white, but when you actually put it in front of an, an actual processor, they can look at, oh, I can see why that makes sense, right? Yes, and our underwriters, some lenders will have a hard stop. For example, if your credit score is only 620, it might eliminate you from the buying pool, but not in our case. We can go in and go beyond that. We don't have a hard stop just at a 620 credit score. So it does open up the market for a lot more buyers. In fact, the people that have been denied other places were able to take care of. That's awesome. And then the other thing I notice is when they're, sometimes the, these lenders are trying to sell it to somebody else, so they do underwriting for themselves, and then when they're going to sell it to somebody else, they have their own underwriting, and then sometimes it'll mess the whole deal up. And it's so frustrating. Yeah. The other thing that's frustrating is people don't know that they're, they're, they don't like that their loan is being sold off over and over again. We retain servicing on that. When we originate the loan, most of our loans are going to be new pin financial is who you're going to be paying for the life of your loan. Which is nice. So, so they get the added benefit. They don't have to go through that double underwriting and then they know exactly who they're going to be paying long term. You bet. And we love that. So Julie, for this one, we're also up in Heber, and this is kind of interesting because last weekend I would, went up to Daniel Summit. And I've always driven by Daniel Summit, okay, and that's right across the street. This is basically, this one's right at the top of the hill, just as you're heading up to Strawberry, and I've always driven right past this, and uh, Daniel Summit and Daniel Lodge is right there, and it's just, just a, it's a spectacular area but I've always driven past and gone right to uh, Strawberry. That's usually kind of my interest. But I stopped at the lodge there. We rented some four-wheelers yeah. and we had such a good time. And we rented these four-wheelers, went all up in the mountains right here. And I was looking across and I came back. So we had uh, kind of dinner there at their little lodge at the little cafe, you know, and it was, and I was looking over the property thinking, man, guy, my gosh, you know, that house has been on the show before. We should probably show it again because I don't know if I really appreciate it. There's, so there's Daniel's Summit right there. There's the lodge right there. And right next to it, it's got the little cafe and it's got a place that, and it's, this is a, a year round type of thing. And they've got that national forest right there and it just opens up and they're just the funnest roads to go four wheeling and uh, to go snow meal, uh, snowmobiling. And you can use something like this. I mean, you can use this all the time. And here's this beautiful property. And this is, you're not gonna find anything else like this in the state of Utah. 
I mean, this is... This is just magnificent. And somebody, it's not far off the beaten path. You know, it didn't take you that long to get up there. No, you, which you is great. You forget how quick it is to get there. They consider it Heber, but man, you want to talk about the outskirts of Heber. I mean, this is, I mean, you're right by Stra Strawberry Re Reservoir here. Yeah. And so this, as you can see, this is, I mean, sometimes they play like their log homes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because that's how you <laughs> normally build them. Because you can't afford to build real log homes. Oh, and gosh. if you build a massive, big log home, you get into some expense because you're not you're not talking about price per square foot. You're talking logs per square foot, right. and logs are expensive. And then to have to move them around, and this is a this is a really really unique opportunity. You don't you just don't see this. You and know, being in a log home like that, you get the feeling of of the the growth and how long these trees have been there, and just I, I it just gives you. a certain feeling to be in a real log home. Yeah, yeah, th there's something to it, right? Yeah, there really this is. This would be like a great, if you had like a big family and you wanted to have everybody over, you're you're looking at almost 10,000 square feet in this oh log home. Oh my goodness, that's huge. It's 9106 with seven bedrooms, five full, and two three-quarter baths. So you're, that's like seven bedrooms, seven baths. It's on yeah. just about an acre of property. It's got an eight-car garage. And as you can see, they didn't they didn't lose the style as they went around this thing. I mean, they just kept that kind of wood style everywhere they went. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just beautiful to, and you know, it just feels so inviting and ground. You could be just be grounded, uh -huh. and relax, and just uh, rejuvenate yourself there. Yeah, and then of course they've got these beautiful fireplaces everywhere, and this you know, the the folks that own this property. Man, yeah, they I I just don't know. They don't need this much property. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean I, I I don't know what I would do with it, you know, but for somebody, uh, it's just it's just a unique opportunity. I mean, I don't know where else you're gonna go and find something well, that people big. Well, go so all unique. over the world to go on vacation. And you, where will you need to go? Well, I mean, look at look at those mountains. They're just That's absolutely a, beautiful. And that road is is uh, always kept clear year round. That's right. So you're always gonna have access. You don't have to go a couple of miles up that are yeah. uh, not plowed. Because that's one of the problems access. with one of these cabins. They're yeah. normally tucked back in, and you have to find a way to get to there. Right. You know, this one's easily accessible. Uh, there's the home theater, as you can see, even down in the, which would be considered actually the lower level. They don't actually have a basement. This would be the lower level. You'll notice you access and most of the uh, stuff on the main floor. So theoretically, you could think of this thing as three stories tall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it has a big, I mean, the garage, look at the size of this. Oh, that's that is great. This is an eight-car garage. You can put garage. a lot of toys in that garage. Yeah, and, and so if you wanted to put, I mean, <laughs> if you had snowmobiles, you had four-wheelers, whatever you you would have, you wouldn't struggle for a place to to put them. That's for sure. Kate Julie, for this one, we're going to be heading out to Riverton, which is a nice little area, of Salt Lake, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of near the the south end of things. Yeah. Yeah, and so this one, as you look at the outside of the property, you can tell it's an ivory home. Ivory homes have a certain style and design, but take a look at this in the back. It's got the surprise five-car garage. So okay. you have two on the front, and then you've got a separate one in the back that's, that's massive. I mean, look at the one garage is big enough to put a boat, RV, and then you got another two car garage. So this is very, very unique. You don't find this a lot of times because it's really expensive to do. I had a, a friend that looked for six months because they wanted garage and, and had project cars and yeah. that's what they needed. Yeah. This is fabulous. Yeah, so this is this is a unique one. This is if we go and look for these houses, it's really hard to find. But when you're looking at a, a garage like that, you're probably looking at about fifty thousand dollars to finish something out, and that's you're not something you normally put in the loan. This is something you have to pay out of out of pocket, right? To do it later, yes, because you, you, you don't find homes with that. Anymore. Yeah. And it's got a bunch of RV parking out there too, which yeah. is great. And then they still got a you know, good-sized backyard, which yeah. is really nice. And as we're looking at the inside here, it's got some uh, really nice, uh, you know, it's ivory homes, right? That's such a nice big window above the sink. Yeah. You can really have a nice view of what's happening outside. I've talked about this quite often, but ivory home, this is really, really good at building floor plans. They're really, they've mastered the art of the floor plan in Utah and the way that we live. And then they're, they do a really good job of pulling the community 
in and so all the houses are alike and so it's not buying a house in kind of a, a onesie twosie type neighborhood like my house is like that one but not like the other ones they have kind of a natural flow to them and that helps houses appreciate and it makes for you know good types of property now this one's going to be a classic uh, two-story home we're going to be looking at 37 uh, 70 square feet with four bedrooms two full and one half baths is on uh, just about a quarter of an acre and of course that five car garage well and that master had separate vanities so yeah that's I wouldn't mind that <laughs> you gotta have that it's great to have a double sink but completely separate's even better yeah and the, and the beauty of the two-story plan is really nice because, of course, you have all your living space, you have family members are coming over or any sort of uh, visitors or anything, they're on the main floor, that's where you're going to eat, that's where you're going to enjoy the house. And then when you go up to sleep, when it's time to sleep, of course, you go upstairs, you've got four bedrooms upstairs, and then down below, you've got a full basement, and that's more kind of the entertaining part of the house. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's the way you look at it, right? You bet. And so this is nice because you've got your garage space, you've got your entertaining space, and look at they've even got a they've got a salon down salon. in the basement. And so they've got a really nice access that comes down the side of the house where you can come in. Now you can use this right now, it's used as a salon, but you could do just about it. You could have a home business that ran from here. Well, that's very typical in Utah to have some sort of a home business. That's right. So that gives and you so, that and it's already entrance. put together. It's yeah. already put together. And then you can you can even write off stuff like that on your taxes. They've got the parkings for the, their clients too. That's right, and so that's what you're looking at. About a five hundred twenty thousand dollars in Riverton, and you don't you don't find this type of house very often. That's a great house. So for this one, we're going to head on up to Heber Valley, and now Heber Valley is one of the beautiful places to left in, in Utah, right? It's close to everything. Oh, it, it's so beautiful. The mountains are all around you there. Yeah, and so this one, as you can see, it's, it's on its own little corner. As you can see, the property perfectly wraps around, and you're looking at 1.33 acres, and as you can see, it just... This property, I mean, perfect if you want to have horses. You can see you can go up on all those mountains behind you, and, and you got a place for if you wanted to add in a stable, and you got uh, your horse. They call that a paddock, is that what you yeah, said? Yeah, the paddock's right there. And you can. what's great with this, if you're pulling a trailer, you don't have to back up. You can just pull right around. Yeah, they've got it designed really well. And, of course, the house is just absolutely beautiful. Heber Valley, I spent a lot of time up there. they got the, the two lakes right there. You got Jordan Era, Jordan L and, and Deer Creek. And look at that beautiful view. And this one's right up away from everything in a, in a cute little area. It's called Lake uh, Creek Farms. And this one, this one is, they really spared no expense. As you can see, they got a four car garage on the, on the side that accesses from the side. They've got that kind of flagstone rock as you're walking up to the front door. And here we're gonna, and now you can see this beautiful landscaping, right? Oh yeah, that is great. Yeah, and going into the inside, you can see they've they've spared no expense. All the wood that they put into this house in beautiful, majestic two-story windows. Isn't that great? I love the tones of the wood, the color. It's yeah. nice. It's very warm, right? It is. Yeah. Really nice flooring, really nice decorating, uh, beautiful door. That's always a big thing to put in a house. And that railing door. leaves it nice and open, too. Yeah, so we're going to be looking at this one about 5290 square feet, uh, five bedrooms, four full, and one and a half baths. Of course, it has a four car garage. It's on 1.33 acres, and they've it's got the uh, it's got the master on the main floor. It's their traditional Rambler's type style home, and the styles and finishes that they put into this. Yeah, man, you you didn't weren't thinking about money when you built this house. No, I, I yeah. noticed the full finish on the walls. It's beautiful. I get it. Um, Italian uh, plaster. Yeah, in the kitchen here, look at all those beautiful cabinets and different types of wood, which I really like. They've got uh, Wolf Range, uh, really nice. And another pot. Uh, the pot, pot filler. filler. Yeah, yes. those are real popular, right? Yeah, and that, that tile behind this, above the stove, is almost a European frame out on it. Very got the Sub Zero fridge, which you gotta have. Yeah. yeah, granite countertops, of course, just standard. Beautiful, all the all the stuff that they put into this is so nice. Wonderful finishes. Double oven, gotta have that, right? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> this makes me happy. Yeah, 
in all the all the blinds as you can see it's uh, plantation shutters and the, again all into wood which all is wood just tones. beautiful yeah so the master of course is on the main floor here and it's it, it's a true master big huge ceilings even though it's a rambler they really added that extra height in there which really makes for a majestic look and the tones of the wood with the stone just it fits so well in that Heber setting. And yeah. You want that up in the mountains. Yeah, you, you kind really of want to have that Western style for this type of home. You know, yeah. kind of the woods and that that warm feel that goes along with it. It mm -hmm. just it's a perfect style. Yeah, it's it's very elegant, but it's also very appropriate for this the setting that it's in. Yeah, and the, and the master they didn't they didn't miss anything on the master. Just absolutely beautiful, beautiful wood uh, work and in the sink, still beautiful, very elegant. Oh, nice the shower's accent. very nice, Nice right? accent trims on the shower. Yeah. And around the, the tub. Big, huge closet, gotta have that, right? You gotta have a nice walk-in closet. So this is gonna be off the master as you're walking, or just right off of the entry as you walk in. This is gonna be the um, office. And now we're heading downstairs. Downstairs we have uh, two bedrooms. So there's two bedrooms on the main on this one, and then are two bedrooms down in the basement. And they've got a lot of room to entertain, as you can see. Wow, that is really light. Look how light that is down here. And is this the lower level? Yeah, so this is the basement right here. My but goodness. it's still a walkout. And so it still gets all that natural light in there, yeah, which is so does. nice. And they really push that back to give you a lot of space down in the, in the basement as you walk out. You don't go, just go to stairs. Sometimes when you walk out of basement, even though it's kind of a walkout basement, you go to these stairs to get out. This one's got a big open area down there. The oh, Fort Knox uh, safe, safe is all there. built in. Look at they've got their little saddle there. Of Isn't course. that so cute? <laughs> <laughs> Look, at that. Look at another one of these bedrooms. They're it, just the right size. They're they're large enough that you can put a large bed in, still have plenty of room behind, around. Great size for the bedrooms. Yeah, this is now off the back deck here. This is your back deck, and you look out, and you've got plenty of grass out there, and then you've got your place for your horses. This yeah. is, I mean, this are, for the right type of person that wants to have, I'd love to have some horses. That's, you know, it's funny, as I get older, I start thinking about it. I'd like to have some more <laughs> land and have some more farm. I love farm animals. Yeah. It's kind of, I would have, when I was younger, I would have never thought about that, but it's, you know, kind of funny. It's, you know, it's on my mind lately. Oh, I grew up with them. It's a wonderful place to be there in Heber and have that opportunity. Look at those mountains. It's just beautiful. Yeah, it's it's just a quiet, peaceful, beautiful place to live. And you can see they're riding their four-wheelers right down the street, you know, because that's, uh, that's just because how it is you out can. there. That's right. <laughs>